But it's your girl Angela, and welcome or welcome back to my Chanel. This feels so weird to be starting off a new weekly vlog before I posted my last one. And I mean, by the time this one goes up, you guys will have already seen, or that one will already be up. But it just feels like so weird. It feels like I'm jumping the gun here, but I'm really not. Because it is Sunday, I think it's September 4th, I wanna say. I don't wanna look at my phone because I'm driving, but yeah, I normally post a video on Sundays, specifically my vlogs, and it's Labor Day weekend, so I figured I would just post that vlog tomorrow when everyone is home from their little trips and vacations. And normally I don't even film on Sundays, but I have a very special guest. <laughs> I say this in every single vlog, or every single video, that I have someone making an appearance. And today is no different, but it's not my sister this time. It is, I'm not gonna make you guess because whatever. <laughs> it is Janelle. If you guys don't know who Janelle is, she was also on Bad Girls Club a different season. And oh, oh my God, I think I went the wrong way. Oh my God, I think I went the wrong way. I definitely, I'm not paying attention. I'm not paying attention. Oh my gosh, I'm totally going the wrong way. I'm, go I'm literally going the wrong way right now. I knew it, I freaking knew it. I knew I was gonna do this. This is why I didn't want to vlog. Now it's, oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, now I have to, yeah, now it's 50 minutes away. Of course. Like, I always go this way to go literally everywhere. And today I'm going to LaGuardia Airport and it was the completely opposite direction. So, anyway, if you don't know who Janelle is, she was also on Bad Girls Club. She was on a different season though. She was on a, a few seasons before me. And then she was on season two of X on the Beach. Season, yeah, I just said season two. She was on season two of X on the Beach with me. And we actually got into a fist fight <laughs> on my first episode there. And she got sent home. We have since made up, like, we are good. We are golden. I consider her one of my best friends. Granted, I'm a very low, oh, not here, low maintenance friend. Okay, now we are back. We are back on track. Oh my gosh. I'm a wreck. Am I? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're fine. We're fine. We're doing amazing, sweetie. Anyway, I consider myself a very low maintenance friend, and she is too, and that we can go days, weeks, even months without speaking to each other. But when we do talk to each other again, it's like we never stopped. And we just pick up where we left off. I feel comfortable telling her things that are going on in my life and vice versa. So it's always really nice to get together and like grab dinner or something when she's in town. She is always on the go. And normally, like with my schedule, I would be like, oh, girl, I got a vlog, like I do not have time to see you. But I really cherish her friendship so much that I wanted to make time with her this weekend because she hit me up on Friday and she was like, what are you doing this weekend? I'm coming into town. Um, she's only coming into town for a day. So she's gonna stay with me tonight and then um, she's gonna be in the city tomorrow with like, you know, whoever she's here to see. I will not be ambushing her with my vlog camera fresh off the plane because I'm sure she wants to get ready first. So you guys will see her later. But in the meantime, I have to pay attention to where I'm going because I've already gotten lost twice and I've only been on the road for five minutes. You guys, you guys, I am so nervous right now. Janelle landed super late, but not only that, I hit so much traffic on the way here to LaGuardia. That's where I'm picking her up. And my gas light went on as I was on the GWB, which is right by my house. So I drove pretty much an hour on E. And now I'm parked near the airport because she had to check a bag. And I somehow have to make it home or make it near a gas station with like two drops of gas. That's just where we're at right now. I'm waiting for her to let me know that she has her bag because I can't even pull around until she does. Like they are 
spots here like if you live in jersey new york you know newark jfk laguardia you cannot be parked outside of the airport waiting for somebody like they be yelling and i just i just can't handle that emotionally right now so please pray that we get back because our dinner reservation is literally in an hour or two i don't even know how we're gonna get dinner what was that oh the street lights just went on see look i'm so scary right now i'm so scary look at this neighborhood i'm in please please look just to give you the three the 360 I wanna go home. I wanna go home. finally in the city finally my baby's here Shut up and play that guitar. I bought that whole shit naughty. I bought that host to the party. I know they have for the molly. I know they have cause I'm ballin'. Pockets full of molly. Show they rubbing on the body. And we on them zombies walking like a zombie. She ain't wearing panties. Yeah, I hit it like candy. Yeah, I hit it like Sammy. She hold it in like a grandma. Yeah, I'm on a zombie. Yeah, I'll turn with the family. Dropping molly in the brandy. Hopping on the phantom. Looking like I'm Danny. Got the diamonds dancing. Looking like I'm granny. You ain't gotta understand me. Blowing up Pakistani. Forever turn, be the family. Paper flipping all got me. Got a hotel for the mommies. I got 30 bitches in the hotel. Niggas hit the bars, hey, they waiting on me. I could get that money for the hustle. Pay for her, but turn this while they hating on me. I got 30 bitches. Oh my god, you guys, I look crazy. And I feel like basura. <laughs> this is what drinking at 30 is like. And I'm very upset because Janelle just left. But not only that, I just feel like we didn't get to spend the quality time that we needed to spend with each other. Because, okay, so going back, and I think I mentioned this in the car, her original flight was supposed to land at 5.30 p.m. And then it got delayed twice. So she landed at 7. And then it took her like 30 minutes to be able to get her bag and so by the time we got back to my crib it was eight o'clock and then we had like five minutes to get ready for our dinner reservation which was at 8 30 because it's sunday and everything closes early we make it to the reservation no problem i think we were like three minutes late everyone was super sweet though we ordered our food we knew exactly what we wanted because we already looked at the menu like that's just a life hack right there and dinner was really good conversation was good it was just nice catching up with her I had a blast and we were like, we're having such a good time. Like, let's not end the night. <laughs> so we decided to go to this hookah spot near my house. It was like literally right down the street from this restaurant. It was so close. We get there. We have to wait like a few minutes for our table. Not a big deal. We sit down, order our hookah and our first round of drinks. And we are vibing. The music is good. Like, it just, I love hookah, you know. So, and she does too. So this was like perfect for us to continue our night, right? Within five minutes of us sitting down, a man from the bar sends us a bottle of champagne. Very nice, right? I personally do not drink champagne, but it was a nice gesture. Janelle wound up switching out like the flavor of the champagne. It was like the same brand, but it was like, instead of just like the regular champagne, she wanted rosé or something like that. I don't know, I don't drink champagne. So she swaps it out. And we're told like, it's the guy at the bar wearing green. I don't see anybody at the bar wearing green. Matter of fact, I don't see anybody at the bar that I even find remotely attractive. And I mean this in the most humbling way. Like I just, and I'm like, good. Maybe he like ordered it and left. <gasps> I should have known better. So he winds up, so this guy, very not my type. Also like receding hairline, like short very thick italian accent a lot of facial movements happening that made me feel uncomfortable um he comes over and attempts to start a conversation with us now i have no problem with that you want to come talk the more the merrier sweetie like love that but then he brings his friend and this guy we'll call him we'll call him sam okay sam 
grabs the bottle that he bought for me and Janelle, like the bottle that he sent over to the table and starts pouring it for this random man. And me and Janelle look at him like, this isn't your bottle. <laughs> like you, yes, you pay for it, but you sent it over to us as a gift. Like this is not your table. Like who are you to be inviting people to our table? Not only that, they were also like trying to smoke our hookah. It was just a whole lot, a whole lot, right? But let me know your thoughts about this bottle situation. Like, is it still his bottle if he buys it for us, like sends it over? Like, is he entitled to come over and share that bottle with other people? Let me know. So that rubbed me or rubbed us the wrong way. Janelle felt the same way. And then they were like trying to smoke our hookah. So Janelle was like, no, like get your own. Mind you, this guy, Sam, brings over this other man. We'll call him Peter, okay? He brings over Peter who is drinking from our bottle. And Peter is like, well, I don't smoke hookah, so it's just gonna be you guys. Like, why order another hookah? And she goes, because it's my hookah. Like, <laughs> it is what it is. And he's like, well, I don't smoke hookah, so whatever, you guys do whatever you wanna do. So they order another hookah, and now it's like the three of us smoking and this guy, Peter, right? And we're kind of wondering what Peter is doing at our table. Like, who is this man? Apparently the guy, Sam, who ordered us the bottle in the first place, didn't even know who he was either because he was just a stranger he met that night. So now you're inviting a stranger. This is a stranger inviting a stranger to our table. Again, strike, like this is like strike two at this point, but strike three was that they were so combative. Like you're coming over to our table to talk to us and we can't ask you simple questions like, what do you do for a living? Like Janelle was like, oh, what do you do for a living? And this Peter fella next to me, goes oh i'm in entertainment and she's like oh like what do you do and he goes that's a personal question and it's like i get it some people are into illegal things like totally understandable but those people that are actually doing those illegal things have an entire story about what they do like i wasn't born yesterday okay so he was just very like combative and weird and it was giving very much i'm unemployed like stop asking me about my job right i'm just sitting there and i'm like now you're intruding upon my girl time with my friend and i'm very annoyed so i'm just like sitting there i'm not saying a, i'm not saying a word then sam passes me his phone and says i want to get to know you like can i have your number and i'm like no <laughs> i don't want to get to know you i've seen what i needed to see and you don't have to worry about me you don't have to worry about me like please just exit stage left mind you as all this conversation is going on they knocked over our hookah twice it was just a very awkward interaction at this point we just wanted them gone so we finally get them to like leave and now peter the one who didn't want the hookah to begin with sees that the man sam who paid for the second hookah has left so he takes it upon himself to pick up that hookah and bring it to another table full of girls which happens to be his like ex girlfriend again giving very very much so unemployed you didn't want that hookah to begin with and now that the man who paid has left you're gonna pick it up and bring it to another table again i've seen everything i needed to see at this point, the hookah spot is closing. Like we had wasted so much time, or these, I shouldn't say we wasted, these men had wasted so much of our time that everything is closed. Like the hookah spot was the latest spot that was open in my area, and now all we can do now is go home. So we wound up coming back home, popping in a movie, we knocked out within like 10 minutes of it starting, woke up this morning, and Janelle had to go. So I think we need a redo. Hopefully I see her again soon. I think she's gonna be coming to the city more often. So yeah, that was our night. So I feel like I was robbed of my time with my friend and I wanna call the cops. Um, I ordered food because even though it feels like Sunday, it's not, like it's Labor Day and everyone is off. So it feels like Sunday, but Chick-fil-A is open. So it's like, it's giving Sunday energy, but with Chick-fil-A. So that's exactly what I ordered. Let me see where it's at. I think it's pulling up, thank God. Oh my god, thank god. It's about to be here. Oh, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. So yeah, that was my night. I need to eat something. I need to put some food in my stomach. And then my mom is gonna come over and help me with some paperwork and stuff that I need to do for something. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> I have to edit a video. I have not been able to get my vlog up. So hopefully that gets done today so I can upload it tonight. I just have so much to do. Good morning. Happy Revolve Gallery Day.
That was awful, I fear. Today is Revolve Gallery, and I'm so excited because I've never attended a Revolve event before. So, yeah, I know they do it up big. I've seen them all over social media, all the girlies posting for Revolve and their cute outfits. So I'm going to be one of those girlies today. I just feel like I'm graduating, you know? I'm not even going to tell you the brands I'm graduating from. <laughs> But yeah, I just feel like I'm a big girl now and I'm on to big girl brands and yeah, I'm just really proud of myself. I'm actually going with Kemi. You guys met her in my last vlog. I'm not going with her as a plus one, like I'm going by myself, but we're meeting up and you know, doing the whole influencer thing together. So yeah, today should be really, really fun. Of course, I always have a little bit of social anxiety before I go literally anywhere, but I'm sure that will subside but it's about 8 a.m right now and i have to be there at 2 p.m which seems like a lot of time which it is but i need to give myself extra time to make sure that i can be fully ready and out the door by 12 30 1 o'clock so yeah let's get our morning started i'm gonna brush my teeth my breath stinks So I did my makeup already, as you can tell. I'm low-key in my flop era when it comes to makeup. Like, I just don't like how I look. I don't know if that makes sense or if you guys ever go through this where, like, you almost completely forget how to do makeup. And I realized that... <laughs> what was it? Yesterday? Okay, so two days ago, I uploaded a video. And it was a get ready with me. And I was doing my makeup. And the video was up for, like... I don't know 12 hours or something like that and I woke up to not necessarily I'm not gonna say like mean comments but definitely comments that like hurt my feelings <laughs> because everyone was like Angela I adore you but that blush and so I removed the video I took it down and the issue with that was besides I mean Obviously the fact that that video took me, I don't even know how many hours to edit, but it was also a brand deal. So now I have to like reshoot the entire thing just cause like I refuse to keep that video up. Like, I'm sorry, I can't, <laughs> can't do it. Nope, this hair tray smells so good. You thought I was feeling you that um, lunch. So yeah, I was scarred after that video. And now when I did my makeup, I'm like, oh, I feel like I'm wearing too much makeup. I don't know if it's gonna look good with my outfit. I don't even know what outfit I'm gonna wear. You guys are gonna help me with that. So I'm going to wave my hair first and I plan on wearing it up in like my messy bun that you guys always ask me about. So I'll show you how I do that. But I need to figure out what I'm wearing first because I don't wanna ruin my hair as I'm trying stuff on. So yeah, we're just gonna start off with waving my hair. And when I tell you, okay, this is not an ad. <laughs> this is not an ad, but this waver, I have been wearing my hair like this for a solid three weeks straight since I got it. It is so good. And I've tried so many different wavers. I tried the bedhead one. I've tried one that looks similar from Amazon and it just wasn't giving like it wasn't giving me the waves that i wanted it was very subtle and then they would fall and my hair would be straight again but this my hair stays waved for days and i don't have to like redo them all i do is like freshen up my hair the next day with like i don't know dry shampoo and then i have this color wow um it's a color, color wow one minute transformation cream and it's amazing and it's like the best hairstyle for me because the weather here is so finicky and sometimes it's hot sometimes it's cold a lot of the time it's humid and then it'll rain randomly so just this just makes me feel like i'm gonna be able to lock in a style all day without having to worry about it frizzing up or anything like that and also i don't feel like my hair looks good straight 
like it looks really stringy i don't know what's the extensions or maybe the fact that my extensions are like what six months old or something like that so they're like breaking but i just don't like my hair straight so this is like the best option for me but yeah i'm just gonna do this throughout my whole head and then we're gonna pick out an outfit which is gonna be really fun because i got some really nice pieces from revolve i had never shopped at revolve before so yeah we'll get into that when i show you but i'm just gonna quickly go through the rest of my head and i will show you the end result okay hair is done well almost i know i want to put it up but i need to pick out my outfit first so i'm asking instagram right now and they're deciding what i'm wearing to this so hopefully they pick out <laughs> something good but i'm going to show you guys the three looks that i pulled everything is obviously from revolve i'll link everything down below but yeah let me give you my initial thoughts and then just try everything on for you guys as well okay so this is the first piece it's this cutout blazer I really love this however it's like 85 degrees outside so i don't think that this is going to be appropriate for the event because it's a very like heavy like thick material definitely has some weight to it so um yeah i don't think i'm gonna go with that i'm really between these two right here i have this yellow midi skirt cohort moment actually these are both cohorts from different designers from revolve this skirt is a little bit longer and more ruched and the top is slightly more risque and strappier but yeah i'm kind of just feeling this one the most right now so hopefully instagram picks it because this one is cute too however yeah i just think it's not giving what this one is this is by michael costello i know that this is michael costello this is ours and i don't know how to say the name of this one Le academy I don't know so yeah i love this michael costello one but i'm kind of wanting to save it for vacation and wear this one today but let me know what you guys think in the comments i wish i could ask you guys <laughs> to help me pick because i don't know i just love my youtube fam a little bit more but instagram allows me to do polls and stuff or maybe youtube does too i have to look into that but you know this is what i'm working with right now and I'll see you in a few. Okay, so I'm going with the yellow one. I do feel a little bit naked though, so I'm gonna see if I could find a little jacket or a little blazer to put on top of it. Yeah, this is the one. So let's go do our hair now, or do my hair. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you how I do my messy bun that you guys are always asking me about. Okay, so we are back in the bathroom. And I just really like the idea of having my hair up today. I never really go anywhere with my hair up. And I just think like with this, it'll look so cute, so. What I'm doing is just parting out, parting out, <laughs> pulling out my bangs and then putting the rest of my hair in a ponytail, trying not to get the little strings in my ponytail. So I pony, I need another hair tie. Oh ladies, do you guys have your favorite hair ties too? Like there's only certain ones that you use. Just, I have to find one, hold on. Okay, I'm back. I have a specific hair tie that I like to use. Um, the one with the little bead on it. I don't know what the point of the bead is, but I don't know, I just kind of like it. And my hair kind of looks good just like this. I mean, low key, if my bun doesn't work out today, I could wear my hair like this. It's really cute. But anyway, let me see if I can get you guys up. This angle is just probably so trash, but it's fine. Okay, next I separate my pony into two sections two separate sections and then just twist them around each other ladies it doesn't have to be perfect that's the whole point of this and i'm leaving some hair out at the end and then i'm just wrapping it around like a bun and securing it with the other ponytail and so you get something like this and now I'm just going to tug on the bun to make it bigger and fluffier. And don't mind all these lightweights. We're going to fix them until 
yeah until i get it to the size that i want it and now here's the fun part i cannot keep breaking my bag to show you guys okay so for like the little waterfall pieces all i do is take tiny little sections and just pull them out just like that just let it that section might be a little too big whatever we're gonna do it anyway just pulling out random sections they could be big they could be small it doesn't matter but pull them out throughout the entire bun not just the front or the back like the messier the better you know I'm just gonna keep pulling these sections out like that. That wasn't really a long one. I want like a long one. Yeah, like it. Like it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I am gonna touch up some of these pieces. You could do this with your hair curly, you could do it with it straight, it doesn't matter. I like to do this when my hair is wavy just because I like the effects of it but yeah it's completely up to you while that heats up I'm going to use my bedhead hair stick to tame all this craziness that's happening because even though this is a messy bun I don't want it to look sloppy <laughs> you know like I still want it to look like you know presentable yeah i'm also gonna add some hairspray to so some extra hold and also let's do some texture spray too because why not yeah um, waiting for that to heat up and yeah I really like this what do you guys think oh okay <laughs> like let me put you guys around hold on like is it giving is it giving is it giving I don't know but I want to wear my hair up so it has no choice but to give but see like this piece right here is kind of like eh, we're gonna fix that right now with my waver again i'm so sorry i didn't even mention the name of this i'll link it down below because it's my favorite waver i just don't know the size of it right now off the top of my head because there's different sizes i think this is 32 but i'm not 100 percent sure so perfect amazing beautiful stunning iconic legendary now i have to pick out jewelry all right let me just go let me see if i can find some jewelry really quick and i'll be right back i also want to find a jacket i might have to dig for that and yeah so i'll be right back i am back and all i did was add a necklace i feel like i don't need that much more but i am going to put on my fenty why do my voice crack like that? <laughs> Fenty body sauce and honey honey. All on my chest and my shoulders. Using my Refi brush. I love this stuff. I should put it on my arms too. Let's just let's just go all out, shall we? Yeah, that's yeah. That's just what the doctor ordered, bitch. I don't know what bag I'm gonna bring. I need to bring a bag that's big enough to carry my camera. And I also wanna bring a spare battery because I just feel like it's gonna be such a long day that I'm going to hate myself if I have to limit the use of my cell phone. Because, yeah, I'm gonna need to save my battery for like the Uber on the way home, so. Where is this shit? Come on. Like, I feel like I have to find this. Well, let me show you my full outfit and then I'll show you my full outfit with the bag too, if I could find it. So, 
Oh damn, I'm not even wearing shoes. You know what, hold on. Let me put on my shoes and grab my bag and show you the full effect. Okay, so this is my full outfit. I added a jacket because who am I to be walking around the city in a bra? Especially because I'm taking an Uber there. I just, I want to be like as covered <laughs> as possible until I actually get to the event. Whatever. So I'm wearing this jean jacket. My Revolve set. Oh, my jean jacket is from Fashion Nova. Cannot believe I'm mixing Fashion Nova and Revolve right now, but it is what it is. Um, my necklace is Zara. My shoes are also Zara. And my bag is Louis. I hate that I'm taking like this huge bag, but I feel like I have no choice because once I take off my jacket and um, I have my camera, it's like I'd rather have something that holds everything. But yeah, right now I'm just going to chill until I leave. Make sure I have everything packed and then we're on our way. Not me bringing my whole ass camera just to vlog on my phone because it's easier. Say hi to Kemi, she's hi. back. And Jess is back there. Hi Jess. Hello. Look at our little color scheme we have going on. Super, super cute. Just trying to get some content done before we grab a drink because the girl needs some alcohol. Revolve Gallery and it was fun. It was really everything was pretty. <laughs> it was so pretty. Now we're gonna go get a drink and some food. I'm really really hungry. And we have a seven minute walk ahead. My feet are already swollen. I'm pretty sure like my shoes have become a part of my ankles at this point. Like they're just digging. So we are on our way right now. And Can you talk about how hard it is to be a Literally, so, I'm just like Literally. I'm sweating just talking about it, uh, but yeah, we're on our way. I need some more tequila because that tequila put me in a really good mood. I guess it, I was, it was just me. <laughs> How do I navigate around this? It's hard to navigate anywhere. Good morning, you guys. It is now Saturday. 
I got home pretty late last night. I mean, not pretty late by normal people's standards, but pretty late for me. <laughs> I got home at nine and I almost instantly knocked out. I was so drained from the day. Revolve Gallery was a lot of fun. I loved, obviously, like I love Kemi. I love Jess now. I just met Jess for the first time and I was low-key fangirling because you guys know how much I love Big Brother. I will say that because the event was open to the public, it made it really difficult to get the content that I needed and not in like a, oh, like I don't want to be mixing and mingling with the peasants like type attitude, but I feel like when you're at an event and it's an influencer only thing, then people understand that pictures are being taken, videos are being made, and to like get out of the way. And I just feel like a lot of people were like oblivious to that and would literally walk in front of us or behind us when we were taking pictures. And we are not, okay, and let me just clarify that we are not those girls that stand in the same place for 30 minutes taking a whole ass photo shoot because there were some people that were doing that and that was even more obnoxious than the actual general public being there okay there was like there were these two people two individuals that would literally camp out at every room and just like take up the space and I get it, we're in the same boat, like, I, you gotta shoot your content, but also be mindful of other people who are trying to do the same thing. I don't know, it's just very, very frustrating at times. And then there was one guy that really changed his tune, because initially he gave my friend an attitude when she asked to step in and take a picture, because he had been camped in the same spot for so goddamn long, like, it was, it was to the point, there was a line behind us, and then she was like, oh, can I just take a quick picture, like, like we were fast with our stuff, we were, like, we were fast. And he was like, oh, that's why there's multiple revolve signs because we were at this area where the entire wall was covered in revolve. And, um, but the lighting was only good in the middle. Like the lighting, they literally had a bunch of LED lights on top and they were only bright in the middle. So yeah, he was just an <laughs> to her. But then as soon as he got out, I was from back, I was like, ah. like, I hate that. I hate that. I hate when people do that because you would be treating me like it if you didn't know that I was from a show you know what I'm saying like I, I just don't like that anyway long story long <laughs> yesterday was a lot of fun um, that made it extremely draining though so next time I know what to ask for from any brands that I work with or any oh my god I almost saw an accident it was gonna be really really bad oh my god he oh my god that would have been so bad <gasps> he literally had to slam on his brakes Oh my god, somebody blew a stop sign and the guy in front of me had to slam on his brakes. And I almost had to do the same thing because people don't know how to, to stop. Oh my god, that would have been so awful. But yeah, so I was just extremely drained. I have social anxiety as it is. I probably mentioned this in every single video. But being around other people. But then when you mix the fact that you have to work and take pictures around other people that are just so like oblivious to what is going on. It was just, it was a whole lot of... So I'm glad that that's over with. I got some really great content. I'm sure you guys will see that. No way. Dude, no way. No way. What is going on? We are stopped in traffic right now in an area where there is never any traffic. So I don't know why. I don't know. There's people getting out of their cars. What, what happened? Okay, we're moving now. That's all that matters. But, good lord. What is going on? I can't even see what happened because now we're like passing the area that no cars are moving through. Oh my god, anyway, oh, that just scared me because I'm already running a little bit late to my sister's house. Not that late, like three minutes, but you know, that's late for me. <laughs> I'm not like my sister showing up like 45 minutes late. That's just not who I am as a person. But I just hate even being a minute or two late. It just, it gives me anxiety. Everything gives me anxiety. What doesn't give me anxiety? So, anyway, this I didn't even tell you what we're doing today, so I'm on my way to my sister's house 
we're going to this retirement real estate convention situation i'm not even sure what it is to be completely honest with you but my mom asked us to go and i'll do anything for my mom so that's where we're going today hopefully we get some lunch after i forgot to eat breakfast this morning Just, i forget to eat breakfast i'm not a big breakfast person so i'm like starving right now so i'm hoping they have like some snacks there um and then we go out to eat after because yeah but you guys will get to see my mom and my sister again i know you guys love them so much and i feel like i just hang out with them every weekend so they top off my vlogs with a bang you know so i'm gonna focus on the road now because i don't really know where i'm going per usual. so i will see you when i get to my sister's house and hopefully she doesn't make me and my mom wait too long because you know how she is. Let's not get into an accident with this bus. Hold on. This bus is hauling ass right now. Like, hauling ass. Jesus Christ. He like, skirt out of the way for me to go. But I wasn't expecting him to be going 85 miles an hour. Like, that bus, that bus is, that bus is on a mission. Goddamn. All right, anyway, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. When I get to my sisters. Okay, bye. Well, as oh, I, as always, I'm the first one here, or anywhere I should say. I'm the first one anywhere, and yeah. So now I'm just gonna wait in my car. This feeling is all too familiar. So we'll see how long it takes Christina to get downstairs. Right now it is 11:16. I've actually been here for a few minutes already. I thought that I would just hop out and we would go, but. <laughs> I should know this song and dance by now. So yeah, my mom's not even here. Everyone's late. So we'll see. It's 1116 right now. Yeah. <sighs> you guys, we made it. We made it. Uh, what, what was that, dude? Yeah. Where's my sunnies? We are here. I was sitting on them. Oh, oh, her sunnies. You mean shades? Angela's like, your tits are out. I can see your nipples, Ange. You ain't wearing no bra. I can see your oh, belly. Oh, my pacing moved down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stick your tits oh, out, Christina. It's, 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 we're about to give. We're about to give all the. I got all, it. The, all the oldies a bone, bro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> your flies open too. Just kidding. <laughs> Major log. Christina's titties are out completely. Here's your pocketbook. It's not my fault. They're so luscious. They. Are, it is your fault because you have <laughs> implants. You're wearing heels. Mm -hmm. My God. Mommy said just like like her like a businessy. Businessy. They're trying to sell us stuff. Where's your fit from, Christina? Fit check. Um, Mandy's. Hey, we're about to head in. Plus, Angela's um paying for lunch, so no, because I don't the, need anything. We spin the bottle and it landed on you. Oh yeah. Well, I want to do a TikTok. You ever see that TikTok that's like, oh, you better not bring your something friend or this sister. I want to do a TikTok where it's like, oh, you better not bring your sister that fights everyone, and then you you come oh, up behind. Oh yeah. It. Yeah, I want to do it. I forgot. You know the sound I'm talking about? I know you're talking about. Approximately 10 hours later. This forever. <laughs> like literally. Please remember um, so this I'm back. Forever. You guys did oh, not want to no. be a part of that <laughs> at all. Literally, oh. no no parts of you wanted to be. <laughs> what? Uh, that what did was you learn, like... Lou? Oh. What did you learn? I learned that I want to retire out of New Jersey. I've learned that I can't be in a presentation like that for more than five I minutes. learned. We're about to go out to eat now, which is the only reason why I'm here today. Uh, I just came for the for the free stuff. I got a mug. I got some gummies. Some gummies. Yeah, that was the best part. Honestly. And honestly, there wasn't really like a lot very of helpful, very nice That was like one cute oh. guy. That's it. There is no cute guys. What are you talking about? He partied. That means he gets down. <laughs> Where are we going after this? <laughs> <laughs> Bags in the back, in the back. So we're in about to bag. go get some food. Um, we're gonna go get some grub. So, should let's check the menus. Do you want to do seasons 52 or Tommy? Let's try something new. Let's go to seasons. Okay, yeah, because there's a Tommy's by you and yeah. Kristen, right? And Steph, my friend Steph. Oh, by the way, shout out to my best friend Steph for getting me this bag. It really came in clutch today. Sure, thank you. Because it's carrying all my gummies. Damn, I'm sweating. Like, I hope you didn't have any candy. 
Yeah, and mugs. Because it's hot. No. Yeah, let's let's go to let's go out to eat. Oh my god, I'm literally gr like a grease ball. All right, so hey, off to you uh, if you want your back to lunch slash dinner. Yourself up. Oh, thanks. oh yeah, because I'm a green spell. Oh, she said, she said, you want to get yourself together? <laughs> she probably has a... She said, get yourself together before uh, we're seen in public again. Why did you, like, sniffle like that? Like, as if you just farted. <laughs> She has yeah, to let them know. Go to the mall. That, the then she has to let them know that she was on the same season as us. Oh yeah. She's like, I'm gonna be with her. Did you watch my episode though? Forget about them. Yeah, with my bug eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna insert a <laughs> picture. All right. So, shit. Oh, it's right there. So we just left season Damn, 52. I am greasy. Christina gets greasy, but it's like, I'm pretty greasy too, but. I, no, I'm. I don't know, but she's like, yeah, she's glistening. <laughs> we just left dinner. We're going to Wegmans right now because Wegmans is the best supermarket ever, and we don't have one near us, near any of us, I should say. And I need to show them why Wegmans is so special. I mean, even the outside is just like, look at it. It just, it looks like Disney World. Oh, that's Does that right? not look like Disney World? <laughs> it's a Disney World for adults. Imagine living here just going to LA Fitness right there. Like, man, like, that must be so nice. Her. My gym is so small. I'm falling asleep. She normally sleeps till 4 p.m. Today she woke up at 10. It was just. I woke up at 9 and I still am tired. It's too much for her. It's too much. So, we're gonna get energy drinks. And, yeah. How are you feeling, Lou? I'm feeling great. Hello, friends. To Wegmans we go. I hate it. I'm drunk. <laughs> it's like this is where Angela looks at when she's drunk. <laughs> Goes to Wegmans. Can you guys see me? I don't know. I look like a grease ball right now, but it's okay. I'm about to wash off my makeup and go to bed. Today was very, very humid. Today was really fun. I mean, minus the um like the seminars we went to that was pretty boring i'm not even gonna lie but looking at different locations for my mom to retire that was really really fun and of course i always love hanging out with my mom and my sister but i feel like the more i hang out with people the lonelier i feel when i get home it's just so so bizarre and i didn't even I didn't even mention this in this vlog i don't think but there was a few days this week where i didn't even pick up my camera because i was feeling really depressed and i don't know if that's like my seasonal depression coming on or what but i was just like not in a good place mentally i was crying a lot and i know i told you guys i wanted to show you like the good the bad and the ugly i just needed a few days to myself so that's what that gap was about but now it's saturday night and i'm ending my week really strong because i mean there's nothing better than spending time with family so i'm feeling really really good and like now that i'm home after like being out all day and around other people and my mom and my sister like that loneliness comes back and i feel like it's worse when i go out with other people a lot because when i'm home by myself for long periods of time like i'm used to that that becomes my norm and then when i start like going out again and like you know i'm here there everywhere and i'm like super busy and then i come home at the end of the night i get really really lonely so that's kind of where i'm at right now but i mean i guess that's just life and 
that's just a part of being single and going through the motions right now but you know it won't last forever nothing does but anyway so that is it for today's video i had so much fun as always hanging out with you guys this week i hope you had fun as well i can't wait to do it again next week but until then i love you guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one Thank you.